Hey guys, Tex Engler here. Notice my daily driver. Um, welcome to my house. Uh, you want to know about my passion? My passion started when I was, I don't know, Hot Wheels came out. I built my first engine when I was 12, painted my first car when I was 14. I actually didn't turn out too bad. This is a first series 55 Chevy truck that I have been building. Uh, it's one of my leftover customers. He didn't want to trust anybody else building it, so I agreed to go ahead and do it in the cramped garage. But if you look at it, you can see my dash. I'm pretty anal about how things have to look and where they have to go. I want things neat. I want them crisp. And I believe attention to detail. I love wiring. I love all of that. Um, I like putting things where it needs to go. I believe function should work with form, you know, form follows function. But at the end of the day, it's still got to look good but it's gotta be functional. Um, I like my firewalls nice. I like, you know, putting my lines where they need to be. Um, my wiring, when you look at wiring, most people want wiring that looks like just stuff laying all over the place. This is what I like it to look like. I like looming. I like, you know, heat shrink. I like it out of the way. I like things that are easily worked on. There's no reason why you can't fix it to be repaired rather than just weld in place and worry about it later. Engines, as you can look at this engine right here, it's one that I built. Um, it's just a plain 235 six cylinder, it's stock. Truck's got an interesting story. My customer's wife's uncle had this thing new and they had a lot of stories with it. Um, when we started the project, it was, okay, we gotta have Uncle Pete's hood. We have to have Uncle Pete's right door because everybody in the family fell out of that door. It was a running joke. You got the truck first to ride in the middle, not on the end. But the paint, we actually chose a 1958 Fathom Blue. Um, there's a good company that I've dealt with over the years that uh, is real good in you know, correct color matches. Um, this one right here has been a labor of love. We cut it about where my hand's at. Everything below that had to be replaced. Put a whole new floor in it. Um, it's just one of those that you did not want to do. You just did not want to do it because economically it wasn't feasible. We could have bought a newer cab, you know, that didn't have this much work. But because of the history that the family had with it, it was one of those that, you know, I want to be a part of this because I got to be part of the dream. And in this business, and now it's a hobby for me, in this business or hobby, it's all about our dreams. And when you get a chance to take something like this and be part of that person's dream and bring this back, it, that is an honor, it's a privilege. I neglected to say that Uncle Pete's 101 years old now. Um, it was his farm truck. And you can imagine, you know, a farmer, how they just ruined the truck. It was no more than a tractor, but Michelle, um, decided that she wanted this car, this truck brought back to life. Um, and we've massaged every end of it. We've tried to keep as much of Uncle Pete intact as possible. But, you know, sometimes you get to the point where, you know, it's just, no, we don't need to spend this kind of money. But as far as back to my passion, I love this stuff more than anything. I wish that I had never been in the position where I had to close the business. Uh, people today, as far as employees go doing this stuff, they want to do it their way. And their way isn't necessarily the right way. But um, now I can do it because I love to do it. And if I have the opportunity to work with you on your show, it's an, it's an opportunity that I can take what I have learned over all these years, share it with more people, uh, you know, talk about the things that I love, do the things that um, people love to see. Uh, you guys have a wonderful format. You have a lot of different shows. I've watched them for a long, long time, and I really enjoy it. I, wa I enjoy watching your shows. So if there's any, you know, if, any, if I'm interesting enough to you, please call. Feel free, and thank you for your time.